What's up, y'all? It's Nasia from All Things Nasia, and I'm back with another video. I'm too sexy for this girl. Too sexy for your girl. Too sexy for this world. So I'm pretty sure you guys can tell by the title of this video, I did get a brand new machine. I got a Sawgrass 1000 um, and I also got a new heat press. It is a 1620 Pro World heat press and I got those from Pro World. So for those of you who don't know what Pro World is, it's ProWorldInc.com. I'll leave the um, link in the bio. So basically they are a mass supplier for basically all your crafting needs they got everything i'm talking um heat presses they got uh sawgrass 1000s they got the sawgrass one i mean 500s they got all these different machines they sell vinyl they sell blanks they got everything you need and it's all at amazing quality everything you need for sublimation everything you're gonna need for um even like you know, your die cutting machines and, you know, your Cricut tools, all of that, everything that you would need for crafting. I want you guys to go ahead on and click my links below in the description box to go over and see what Pro World has to offer, you know, let them know I sent you. But without further ado, I'm going to show you guys how I make a shirt literally from the beginning so I don't even have the shirt right now I haven't even been like working on stuff I've just been watching a whole bunch of TikToks and YouTube videos to show me exactly how to create what I want to create so you know what I always do is I make stuff for my kids first so I went ahead and I picked up one of these 100% polyester shirts and this is actually a Cricut shirt so um, I was trying to basically look in these stores for shirts and I didn't wanna go all over the world. So I just went ahead and picked up this 100% polyester infusible ink shirt because if you don't know then sublimation, the process of sublimation you can only use polyester. You cannot be using cotton and all of that because um, the ink will only adhere to polyester. So go ahead and pick you up a polyester shirt. I also got me some butcher paper just to go inside so that the ink doesn't leak through to the back. And I also picked up one of these, which is a lint roller because you wanna go ahead and really lint roll um, your items really well before you actually get into the process of sublimation. And then I got my sublimation printer and I got my sublimation paper and I got my heat resistant tape and I'm ready. These are all things that I've learned from YouTube, y'all. Ain't nobody come over here and teach me nothing. So between um, me, Pro World, and YouTube, I'm about to learn how to do all of this stuff by myself and we about to get to that what? Money. Let's go. Let's start. Let's start the actual video. So like I was saying, you guys already know I had to have y'all up close and personal. I'm not really going to give like a sawgrass tutorial, the sawgrass creator studio, creative studio tutorial. I'm just going to show you guys exactly what I have done so far and how I'm actually making this shirt. This is just a little quick video. I don't want to have y'all here too long. So this is a design that I put together using all Google images. And basically what I mean is I went to Google, I typed in um, Spider-Man clip art, Spider-Man um, PNG, which basically means it has a clear background or a white background that can be removed um, in the studio, in this creative studio. So I put this photo together with this Spider-Man, um, like baby big head Spider-Man right there with this web in the background. And I went ahead and used one of the fonts that were already in the creative studio. And I, um, you know, typed out my son's name. And this is how the design looks all together now that I'm done with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and press print. Now, I'm gonna move it on out for you guys so you guys can see my machinery. So I gave you guys a little bit of a different angle because I wanted you guys to see both my printer and my laptop at the same time. So I'm gonna show you guys what is actually happening here. So what it says is print settings. So this basically took me to 
um, everything I'm gonna need. It says Sawgrass 1000, ready. So it's ready to go ahead and print. It's coming from tray one. It's gonna say the paper size, and the paper size that I have in the printer right now is eight by 14, and that is considered to be US legal. So I press that. I'm gonna change the product. It says materials, and I'm gonna change the product from, it has like a preset for a metal, and I'm not using metal, so I'm gonna put polyester. Color and quality, high quality. I always wanna have high quality. Um, it says color mode, either photogenic or vivid. I'm gonna press vivid because that's what I want, that vivid color. And I'm not using a color palette, so I'm gonna go ahead and press print. And then it loads and it's going to be sent to my print queue. Now, after it's queued in the printer queue, it's gonna bring up what's called print manager. And that's basically like, the thing that's gonna get your whole project together before you go ahead and print it. I press okay here and then look, it popped up. So like I said, material is polyester. Paper is the True Picks Classic. That is what I, that is the best paper so far that I have been using with my Sawgrass. I did get that also from Pro World. So go check out Pro World for all of your sublimation needs. And then the print quality, high quality, tray one, layout i got the um the size paper that i need and all the presets that i need one of the biggest 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 things that you need to do on here just as well as when you're like working with the cricut and you're working with um iron on vinyl you need to mirror your image if you don't mirror your image your minute your image will come out backwards when you um print it out or sometimes some people will not even like really pay attention and they'll go ahead and press it on so always remember to mirror that image so now that it is done processing i'm going to go ahead and press print While it is printing, you wanna go ahead and get all of your stuff that you're gonna to need together. So like I said, I have my um, my lint roller right here and I also have this heat tape. I got this heat tape from um, Michaels. I already had it for my Cricut, but um, again, you can also pick some up from Pro World. So while that's printing, I have my heat press set up. I can't wait to show you guys my new heat and I am so excited to be to go ahead and show you guys how I use it. So this is how it printed out. Now what I will say is that when you are doing sublimation and you print out like the image before you go ahead and see it on the actual garment, you'll notice that it does come out a lot more dull than it will actually be when you sublimate onto your product. So keep that in mind. That's why it looks kind of like, like a little dull. Even here, it doesn't really look dull. It looks vivid here, but that just lets me know it's gonna be that much more vivid when it's actually being pressed. But let's go ahead and prepare this picture. So what I have been seeing on like um, TikTok and on YouTube is that they say that when you sublimate onto your um, items, you will get, sometimes you can get those harsh kind of lines from the edges of your paper. So what I've been seeing people to do is to soften up those lines. You don't wanna like cut around the image because that'll still be a harsh line. I've been seeing people tear around the image. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I mean. So they'll literally tear, be careful. And you don't want it to be so uniform because then that'll kind of like defeat the purpose of not cutting it. So this is what the image is looking like now that it's torn around. Now we're ready to go ahead and prepare the shirt on the heat press and get to pressing. So my heat press is heating up. I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about my heat press in a second, but before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and get my garment ready. So. Um, let me just show you one of the dopest things about my heat press that I was really excited about. So I basically had a swing heat press before, which means I had to kind of like swing it out of the way and I had the wires in the way and it was every, everything was just really ghetto. You know, when it came to swinging my design out of the way, everything was just really wired and irritating. But look at this. 
So this actually pulls out. So I don't have to worry about getting burned. I don't have to worry about all the wires being in the way. So this can actually help me for when I am just, you know, going ahead and putting my image on here. So one thing I can already see is that there is a lot of lint and like little tiny hairs on top of my design. But before I get to that, I'm gonna go ahead and put this butcher paper in the middle of my shirt because like I said before, you don't want the ink to transfer through the design and onto the back of the design. Okay, so now that is all set. So like I said, the next step would to be getting all of these little hairs off of your design. And then you put ink over it and like the, the dust or whatever is under it and then you have like little specks in your design. That's not cute, like, like I said, it's a whole thing, it's a whole lot of stuff in sublimation that could not be cute if you don't properly prepare. So while that is heating up, I'm just gonna give you guys a few little specs about this machine because it is so cool. I'm actually gonna do a separate video about the sawgrass. I was just so excited to show you guys that um, this video might come first. But I'm gonna give you guys a few specs about the machine. So it does um, initially take 20 minutes to reach the about like 400 degree mark. Um, it is a semi-auto machine, which is so dope. So basically what it means when I say semi-auto means like when I press it down um, and it counts down to the time that you have set because you can preset the time that you want it to count up to. When it counts down, it pops open itself. So say I do three minutes, which I will show you guys when I'm actually um, pressing. When I say I do three, um, 30 seconds, and I press it down, it's gonna pop back up after the 30 seconds is counted down. So that is one of the cool things. Another thing that is really cool is that these, um, like I said, this does slide out. And what this is called is a play tin. And these do have interchangeable play tins, which basically means you can take this big one off and I'll show you, I do have one of the other sizes. It is heavy because it's metal. So this is one of the other play tins and basically it um adhere not adheres but it will hook up to this part you can take off that big part and hook up right there and basically what that is for they're interchangeable because you have different things you know how you have different sizes of things that you want to press maybe i want to put this you know to the side and press it just for the chest of a hoodie maybe i want to make smaller shirts maybe they even have one that's like for sleeves and so like a really long plate in so that's really cool about that um what else is really cool it does have an emergency stop button on the side so if something's going on i don't know why you would need to um stop it quickly but you know it doesn't hurt. So aside from it being an auto open machine, you can also change it so that you can manually operate it. If you're one of the people who wanna make sure that you have control, maybe you wanna leave it on for a few more seconds without it lifting up. If that's what you want, you can also change it. Last but not least, one of the other things I wanted to show you guys is that it does come with this um, lower plate and um, cover. So this is a cover that goes over like that um, other thing that I just showed you, it looks like that underneath. So that's also cool. And it does come with one of these non-stick sheets. And it also came with a um, heat resistant glove. So I just think that this is a really, really cool machine. It definitely is gonna take my business from being, you know, one of the little, you know, small heat presses to this big boy. It definitely is gonna take my business from here to here to here to here to here. So I'm really excited for to be working with this machine and I'm going to be showing you guys in every video from now on the new things that I learn about it. But anyway, let's get to the pressing. All right, guys and gals, we are at the point where it is time to go ahead and get done with the pressing. So I have already heated the machine up to it's about like 360 and going up as we speak. But basically what that's telling me is that it's ready. So I went ahead. <clears throat> And I lint rolled my um, design. I put my paper 
my parchment paper, not parchment paper, my butcher paper in between my design. So before I actually do the pressing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-press to get the nice, to go ahead and get all of the moisture out of the garment. So I already pressed it. I mean, I already got it ready. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a Wizard Kelly vibe just because my craft room isn't the biggest. But you know what? Don't come for me. It's okay. You know? We're, we're going up 2022. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and pre-press and get that moisture out of the garment. And I'm doing this for about five seconds and then I'm going to stop it. And now I know that it is definitely ready. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've cut a couple of pieces of my heat um, resistant tape. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a better angle. So like I said, I did all of that. I did my pre-pressing. My machine is heat is heated up to the right side. So now what I'm gonna, to the right temperature. So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get my design and place it in the spot that I want it to be. So, I think about three fingers down is a good length. I got it all set in the middle. Now what I wanna do is go ahead and put my heat tape, my heat resistant tape. And I'm gonna do three different points just so that I can make sure that there's no like ghosting and there's no like shifting after and while I press. So I'm just Pressing that down. And I'm not even gonna cut this one in half just so I can get one on each side. So that I know for a fact that this is not going anywhere. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and press my, put my parchment paper here over the top. And I'm also gonna take this heat protective sheet and put it even over that paper just so I can just, you know, ensure that it's completely protected, then I'm gonna go ahead and press. Now, as you can see, my machine is now counting down, 32, 31, it's just counting down, and then when it's time for it to pop up, you're gonna see it pop up by itself. I'm actually going to put my hand here and aid it because it is kind of like forceful, and um, yeah, it's kind of scary sometimes. So, two, one. All I did was put my hand on it. I did not pull it up. All I did was put my hand on it, but it came up by itself. So you wanna be very careful from here on because the project will still be very hot. And I saw somebody say, that one way that you can tell that the project really took well is that you can see the design coming through. And I know that you guys can see that the design is coming through right here. So yes, like I said, it will be very hot. That's probably why they gave me the heat resistant glove, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys anyway. Oops. Very vivid, beautiful. That is how the design looks. So cool, definitely a dope project. So this is what the design turned out to look like, guys. It looks so cool. Literally looks like it came from Target. No one could tell me that I just sat here and made this in my craft room. Thank you so much to Pro World for sending me these machines. I will. Definitely go ahead and tell you guys some more specs about them at a later date. If you want to get a little bit more information about these machines, I'll go ahead and leave the links for the Pro World website and my description bar below. And if you guys want to see me work with these machines a little bit more, go ahead and click subscribe, comment some things that you guys want to see me work with, comment some ideas that you want to see me go with. And if you want to keep seeing cool designs and cool, you know, different, um, What was I about to say? 
If y'all want to keep seeing cool stuff, go ahead and subscribe to this video. Share this video out. Like and comment. And I'll be back with another video very soon. Peace out.